Hi guys, welcome back to another Unity Touch tutorial. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be looking into some swipe functionality. Now since my last tutorial, I've gotten a few questions asking about swipe movement. One YouTuber by the name of Detrockers was asking about swipe movement for a camera rotation, similar to the functionality that you would find in a game like Dead Trigger. So today we're going to be creating the rotation of the camera using our swipe, using our finger, and for the next tutorial, we're going to use swipe motion on a joystick to move our pers our player forward, backward, left, and right. So we'll have a fully functional first-person controller by the end of the two tutorials. So without further ado, let's get started. I just in Unity, I just went ahead and made a simple scene, nothing special, uh, just a few cylinders to uh, be able to see different things as our camera rotates around. So we want our camera to rotate this way and this way. That's pitch and yaw. But we do not want our camera to roll. So that will actually simplify things a little bit. Uh, Alright, I went ahead and also created a blank script called swipe rotation. And, oh yes, this is our... Uh, touch logic script that we created in previous episodes. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with that, you might want to check them out so you can understand what we're doing here. And for our swipe rotation uh, script, we're going to want to utilize this on moved anywhere, on touch moved anywhere function. So back in our brand new swipe rotation script, we're going to move that down. We don't need any of this. We're going to be using that. And of course, we need to inherit from our touch logic. Logic. Boom. So in here, we're going to be do, doing the rotations. Doing the rotations of our, our camera. Alright, so we're going to need a, a few floats. We're going to need pitch and yaw. Uh, and we're also going to need camera speed, or like rotation speed, some some sort of variable to control the speed at which our camera looks around. So I'm going to make that one a public float called uh, rotate speed. It's going to equal uh, 10. And we're also going to make some private floats for our pitch and yaw, which will start out at 0. Alright, so with our pitch and yaw, we're going to just simply uh, modify these rotation values directly. And these, uh, these rotation values are, Unity uses uh, Euler rotation values, so we're going to be using, uh, we're going to say this.transform dot Euler angles, and again Euler angles are these these values for rotation, uh, and they're going to be equal to a new vector 3, and in here is where we're going to plug in our pitch and yaw, and I believe pitch is f for that, oops, and yaw is for that. and for roll we don't want any change we want it to stay at zero uh, right so now we need to plug in that we need to assign values to our pitch and yaw so pitch we're gonna take for pitch we're gonna take whatever uh, pitch is at the moment and we're gonna add to it uh, the delta position of our touch. So we're going to say get touch. I'm going to use the first touch, and we're just going to find the delta position. Uh, yeah, so delta position is just, alright, if my finger's here, one frame, and then it's here, the other frame, it finds the distance between those 
two touch points. So we're going to use that that uh, change in distance, that delta distance, to change the rotation of our camera. Um, and we're going to want to multiply that by our rotation speed, so we have some control over how fast that moves. And we're also going to want to multiply it by time dot delta time, so the rotation speed stays consistent. Oops, across all devices. And we're also going to want to do this for yaw. Oops, I forgot to put in a specific axis. Axis. Well, yeah, ax. We're, we're, we put in some axes. Uh, yeah, and that should be it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and test that out. Drag our script onto our camera. Hit play. And pray for the best. Alright. So if I touch, move. Perfect. Except that's painfully slow. Alright, let's make that 100. Alright, that feels good. I'm gonna go up. Alright, well, the, the pitch is inverted. So. I don't like that, but some people do. If you want to uh, change this to regular, just go ahead and flip that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and make a uh, let's make another public variable called invert pitch. I'm going to set that to uh, actually. This will be this will be an integer invert pitch. I right, set equal to one. <laughs> so now at runtime, if you want, you can uh, give your players the option to invert their their camera movement. So, oh god, I forgot that's super slow. Okay, and then if we want to invert this, we could just give them a GUI button that says, do you want to invert your rotation? They'll say sure, they'll click on it, and in script that could change this value to negative one, which would invert your up and down. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I mean, um, oh, one more thing. The way that it's set up now, we've we haven't set any limits to this, so the player could do a very slow front flip, and you know that's not realistic at all. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to clamp the pitch. Yeah, so pitch equals math f dot clamp dot lamp. We're going to put in the initial value, which is pitch, and we're going to clamp it to. Uh... All right, so if we clamped it to ninety, negative ninety would be straight down. Positive ninety would be straight up. Uh, let's, let's limit it a tiny bit more. So I'm going to put like eighty instead of ninety. So limit. So we don't do backflips. Alright, so now if I do the rotation, it should stop me. And yep, it does. Yeah, so I can no longer do a very, very slow front flip or back flip. Um yeah, so that's it. Oh, and since we used uh, since we used this dot transform, we we can throw this script on anything. So let me just deactivate that. Throw this on our test cube, and we can rotate that as well. Painfully slow again. Oh my god. All right. Well, yeah. There we go. You now have a script that can rotate anything you want at your fingertips. Hey guys, one last thing before I go. 
so this whole tutorial we've been working with swipe rotation based on our finger anywhere on the screen. But say we want a, a specific touchpad area where you have to have your finger in order to move it so it's not, you know, so it's limited to a part of the screen instead of the entire screen. But we can do this very easily um, using the same functions that we have in our touch script, touch logic script. Um, so real quick, I'm just going to copy all this text and make a new script in Unity. And I'll call this Swipe Rotation Player. Open that up. And just replace all of that. So now this is the exact same code that we have in here. Um, and we just want to change a few things. So first, um, instead of using this dot transform, we're going to want to tr uh, use the transform of a target because this script is going to have to go on a GUI texture, but we want it to rotate our camera. So let's make a uh, a public transform. We'll call it player, and we can just replace that with that, and we'll remove this anywhere part. I'm going to change this to 100 because I know 10 is very slow. Um, yeah, so then that's going to limit our rotation ability to be only in one area of the screen where there's GUI texture. So let's create a GUI texture. And I'm going to zero out the pixel inset real quick. Change the scale to 0.5 and 100% to the screen. And we'll move this over to be there. Let's change this to a simple square texture. Alright, so what's going to happen is when we move our finger anywhere on this GUI texture, this is going to be our touchpad. When we move our finger on here, it's going to rotate our camera. If we move our finger around here, it's going to do nothing. Um, yeah, so let's throw our new script on it and put our player onto it. And let's go ahead and remove this from that. And let's see. So the when I'm not touching our touchpad, the cube is still rotating because we still have the touch anywhere script on it. Um, yeah, and then if we touch on the touchpad area, then our camera is going to move. And if we move our finger off the touchpad, he'll stop moving. And if we move our finger back on the touchpad, then it'll start moving again. So there you go. Super simple. Um, yeah, so that wraps it up for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to complete our first-person camera controller with a, uh, with a joystick that we'll probably put in the... Uh, on this side of the screen to move our guy forward and backwards. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if I help.